Good morning guys, welcome to another video. On today's video we're at Hong Kong Cafe at Fulton Lane doing a whole bunch of things. Um, I'm gonna start this video real quick. We also gotta go back to the sneaker laundry because Toby has done a whole bunch of photos for the new cocaine stuff, which is great. Um, I'm gonna show you guys inside real quick. Let's start this day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. If you're not subscribed, hit that bell button. Notifies you every single time we release brand new videos. Let's go. I love how it has peanut butter inside because the one in Hong Kong, we never have peanut butter, so it's always really, really good. I got myself a car film with rice, but obviously I ate all the meat already. And then we got the milk tea, which looks bomb. Look how nice it's And then I curled the straw and stuff like that. But let's go. Okay guys, we're gonna go to the pop-up shop right now, pay for it. We, to, we just went to the sneaker launch, didn't really vlog much, but we're actually doing a pop-up at Dolce & Gabbana, which is insane. It's gonna be at Chadston. Uh, we have our custom painter that's gonna be there three times a week from all the way through October, I think. So let's get to the pop-up shop. We are back at our pop-up. We haven't been here for a while, though. I know, this is so crazy. As we were walking this, I was just picturing the line from the pop-up. 278, right here. If you guys been to the pop-up, you guys remember this. And you go up those stairs to Space at Collins. So if you guys are wondering where our pop is gonna be, Space at Collins, level one. And we actually need to go to level 10 to sign our lives away. What you guys don't understand is that the pop-up space is actually uh, one, nearly $2,000 for just a day. And we bump in just for the day, which is insane. So that's why I spend it on pop-ups because technically I could just literally put it online and do the same thing, but I want to do engagement and actually have people come in and do stuff because it's better, isn't it? It's more fun. It's more fun that way. Even though it's a $2,000 investment, it's all good. Because even though like my website's level getting paid for 10. and I pay for it now, we're in level 10. So I'll speak to you guys later. We are doing a quick pit stop at Kicks STW. Oh, look at that sale. Two bait tees at $2.45. That's, oh wow, look at a lot of stuff back there. I haven't been here for a minute. Insane amount of supreme stuff as always with the jars. Enough off white crystals. I really like these things. That's what I want. I want that. And these BFF toys. What would you like, babe? Supreme beanie. You have a supreme I know, beanie. But this one's less subtle. But it's not even winter anymore. That would be good. It looks like a burglar's. It does a little bit. I feel like I would look like a burglar. So I go the pink one then. Why would you go this one? Nah. That looks like a truckie's, like yeah. a truck driver's bean. <laughs> or like a pizza logo. <laughs> yeah. But if you guys ever come down to Kicks, they have a whole bunch of stuff. My spare stock is insane. They got a lot more like different brands now as well. Yeah, they yeah. just used to be like Supreme and Bake. Yeah, and then just a lot of shoes. Yeah, now they got like Off White and Vitamins. They got a lot That's of Champion. Just, yeah, a lot of Champion stuff. It's pretty sick. It's like pastel looking. Yeah, it's a Serene William Off White. It's so nice. It's such a nice looking shoe. They're supposed to be really rare. We raced home because it is 5.49 right now. Our vlog is still not up, but I have edited it on here. And Philly has her half on this. Oh, sorry guys, the vlogs are like an hour. Oh, my bag just fell. An hour late. It is dinner time and we're having Kentucky Fried Chicken. Also using plastic plates because Friday night can't be bothered. He was the one that actually won a KFC as well, which is very, very surprising. But the fresh chips are so good. Good evening everybody, so I'm heading off to DJ right now. First stop is always I Love R&B and then I'm gonna go to Chase, but I'm actually really excited because at Chase they've got a new DJ equipment. It's like a turntable, but there is no needles or anything, which is insane. So I'm really, really excited to test it out. I'm actually really, really tired, so I really need to get myself a V and energize myself up. 
So let's head along. Hope you guys enjoy this B-roll footage. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. Yes, right. For the record, you ain't trying to grow them stuff for you. Yes, right. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste. For the record, for the record, yeah. For the, for the record, yeah. For the record, yeah. For the record. If anyone wants to know what I Love R&B looks like when the lights are on, this is what's up in the front room. Just setting up right now. Everything is good to go except I need power, but I don't understand. There's just like a lot of mess happening right here. So I'm just going to wait for the sound guy to come. And then the club should be open. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this video. That was the end of the vlog. As always, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget the Melbourne Cocaine pop-up is in two weeks time. So it's on September 29th, which is a Saturday. It's going to be going from, I'm pretty sure, 12 to 5 p.m. So we're giving you guys an extra hour. We're also going to get more people on board. We're going to have more people at the counter so we can filter you guys through a lot faster and you can make your purchases. Because last time... There was a lot of people waiting in line for a really, really long time, which was out of our control. But we're going to try to be a little bit more prepared so you guys don't have to stand on the streets for as long. And we want to kind of make it a bit more entertaining as well. So hopefully it'll be good. Also look forward to the next couple of vlogs because Howe's actually heading to Sydney. So the Sneaker Laundry Sydney is also opening that same weekend in two weeks time. So he's going to be showing you guys the process of the opening, how it's coming along and all of that stuff. So don't forget because on the Saturday 29th we'll be in Melbourne for the cocaine pop-up. And Sydney, if you guys want to come down, come meet with us, come hang out with us, we'll be at the Sydney Sneaker Laundry opening, which is on the Sunday, the 30th. So it's going to be insane. Put that in your calendars and we look forward to seeing you guys then. Thank you so much for all the support. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.